Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic start to your weekend. Happy Saturday. It is time once again for ye old weekly home fragrance roundup. This is the video that I like to do most Saturdays where I share what I was burning, melting, crocking, lamping. Um, just anything related to home fragrance kind of gets dumped into this video. Um, in the description box right below this video, there is going to be just a plethora of information for you guys. If you're new here, be sure to check that description box out. It can be somewhat helpful if you have a question. Sometimes, honestly, it takes me a long time to get back to comments. Um, so you might be able to find your answer there. I, I try to respond to comments as often as I can, but sometimes I get a little bit behind. This summer has been a little bit busy, so I haven't been as good as, um, as I have been in the past about responding in like a super timely manner. But I try to at least check comments here and there like once a day if I can, um, but sometimes I can't get through like all the comments that come in in one day. So working on it. <laughs> Stella goes back to school um, after Labor Day. Uh, I think life is going to get not necessarily easier, but I think there's going to be like a stricter schedule in place. So I think it's going to allow me to kind of slow down and create a new schedule for myself and just get some get some stuff together. So anyway, uh, yeah, check that description box down below. There's also discount codes, um, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, at any rate, let's go ahead and get into everything that I was burning and melting this week. I have something new that I picked up at Costco that's quite affordable and... While I haven't burned these particular candles, their fragrance, just the fragrances are so good. They are so good. Um, yeah. All right. Where do I even start? Well, let's start with what I currently have in my candle crocs because my candle crocs are once again, they're going. <laughs> so, um, and as you can see behind me, um, I have started decorating for fall. I'm, I'm not quite done yet i do have a whole like fall decorate with me series but because the pumpkins have started to come out and i am a very seasonal burner by the way i am f you don't need to let me know in the comments i am fully aware that fall does not start until september but in my heart fall starts now uh because um i'm just over summer i am not a summer person i tried to embrace it this year tried really hard um, still didn't enjoy it, but at least I didn't complain about it <laughs> nearly as much. But yeah, I just, I love fall. Um, and I don't really love burning seasonal scents outside of the season that they're kind of intended for, I guess. So, um, yeah, I finally started embracing burning fall candles, Halloween candles wholeheartedly. I've obviously been burning them because I've been testing all of the things that have come my way with PR or things that I've purchased myself. So fall candles have been going, but it's felt really weird to do that. So it's it's not my favorite. Um, however, because the retail season when it comes to home fragrance is just so far ahead, like it's just kind of crazy. But anyway, um, so in my candle crocs right now, in the downstairs laundry room, I have my country candle. Is it the pumpkin banana bread? Or no, it's muffin. Pumpkin banana muffin or banana pumpkin muffin. I'm, I'm not sure what the order of that one is. Anyway, I reviewed that candle and it was very light um, in terms of the strength and the throw when I was burning it. Uh, if you have that and yours is also quite light, uh, if you don't have, have a candle crock, first of all, you need one. Second of all, oh man did that candle just explode in terms of fragrance output when i put it in my candle crock um i don't see putting candles in a crock as a waste myself it is a way for me to get money out of candles that um you know i purchased in the case of that one that one was sent to me as pr but um you know it's a way for me to like get life out of a candle um without having to go through the hassle of returning it um and I just, I've always, I've used Crocs for so many years now and they're a fantastic way for me to get like 24 seven 
fragrance out of a candle that maybe otherwise didn't perform maybe the candle got super sooty or maybe the wicks dudded out you know like there's a number of things that can obviously go wrong when you are burning candles so um you know for me the crock is just kind of a useful tool to still get some life out of those and that particular candle i could not believe how strong it was when i put it in the crock i actually can't leave that one on um all day <laughs> After about six hours, I'm like, oh man, this is almost, like it almost gets to be borderline headache inducing because it's so intense. And that particular candle crock is in my laundry room, which is in the back part of the house, like around the corner, through the, like through the woods, over the, what's the saying? Through the river, over the woods. I don't know. It's just a long ways away from here and I can still smell that dang thing. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's a, I, this is why I love Crocs. I just think that they take candles that sometimes don't perform when they are burning and just make them amazing. So at any rate, I do always have a candle crock linked in the description box down below. A lot of the candle crocks that are out there, I don't love the like decor aspect to a lot of them because they just are very like kitschy or they have inspirational or religious quotes on them. And I'm pretty picky in terms of like home decor stuff. And so um it's hard to find really neutral options so the ones that i link are definitely a lot more neutral they don't have anything like special about them per se um and while i would love to have a crock that like actually fits my decor um if i can just find something that's like you know one solid color or maybe is like embossed with something like that's kind of ideal for me personally i feel like most people are the same way um but at any rate that's doing great in there um in my upstairs filming room i have what is it it is the three wick pumpkin spice candle from homeworks that they sent as pr listen um you guys know that i love homeworks as a brand um they're they're going through they've been going through some stuff for like several years i just always continue to have faith in this company um i do think that at some point they are gonna like turn it around but do i think they'll ever get to where they were i i don't know i don't know about that but i do think they there is room for improvement and i have seen it here and there but it's not crazy consistent quite yet but anyway those three wick candles have never really given me the oomph that they're four wick candles have so i've never really purchased them and whenever homeworks has sent them either for free in an order that i've placed because sometimes they'll pop one of those in there or they'll send them spr i just automatically put them in my candle crock they do great in my candle crock so if you're someone who just melts check those three wick candles out from homeworks if you really like a lot of the scents because they're fabulous like uh i can smell that one throughout the entirety of the upstairs of the house in fact craig was like why does it smell like a pumpkin extravaganza up here already like he craig's not quite ready for the fall <laughs> craig likes the summer i do not we are polar opposites i think in that respect but um at any rate uh it's it's powerful it's powerful in the crop but burning they just don't give me that much also in our master bedroom i decided to put the last half of my uh Bath and Body Works Vanilla Peach Macaron candle into the crock because it was starting to soot in the little mason jar that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. Um, the Blackberry Bramble Tea, which is in my kitchen, is fine, uh, but for some reason the Raspberry Peach Macaron started to soot. So I put it in the crock. It's doing fine in there. Um, not quite as much strength out of that one, but that's also that's a pretty old candle by this point. So um this is my once again reminder to all of you that if you have candles in your collection that are old and you have maybe multiples of those maybe start thinking about using those maybe keep one as like a keepsake right but maybe not maybe you don't need 15 of the same candle i don't know maybe you do i think it's just it's definitely a personal preference thing i've just gotten to this point in my life where periodically i melt down about the amount of stuff that i have in the house and I just start gifting everything out to friends and family. I start donating things. I start just getting really overwhelmed with clutter. And so I got to do something about it. I'm kind of in one of those stages right now when it comes to my homeworks candle collection because man, that has exploded over the years. Um, so I'm working on whittling that down a little bit. But yeah, like um, if you have 
candles that you love, use them. Use them, because every day is a special occasion. I definitely was one of those people that was like, oh, I cannot burn this. Like, it is the last one that I have of this particular scent that is now discontinued. It'll never come back. Uh, but, you know, what good is it doing me sitting in a closet, I guess? I mean, I, I can look at it, but, and I can stick my nose in it. <laughs> but I just, that's not the same as, like, experiencing the candle, right? So... I always just, I'm, I keep reminding myself, use the good stuff, like get out the china, even if it's not a holiday, use the perfume, use, use the skin, it, use the skincare, it doesn't do any good sitting on the bathroom counter, might look pretty, but put it on your face, <laughs> so it can do something, right, um, anyway, so that's what's happening in the Crocs, oddly enough, I did not have my lamps lit at all this week, so nothing to report in lamp land, um, and now let's get going with what I'm currently burning, Behind me here in that Bath and Body Works leaf candle holder. Can you even make that out back there? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm blind. I can't see it in the viewfinder. But I know it's back there. Spice Cranberry Toffee from Bath and Body Works. They need to bring that back. Uh, I was able to order that during, I think it was the semi-annual sale last December, I believe it was, or the year before that. Man, what a great scent. Um, and I don't ever remember seeing that one in store, but that was also during a time where I was trying to stay away from Bath and Body Works because I was just having so many problems with their candles. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's a great scent. Love it. Very uh, intense and potent. <laughs> I can smell that candle through most of the downstairs of the house, actually. And in my entryway, just right over there on that little entryway table is uh, Bath & Body Works The Perfect Autumn. So the combination of the spiced cranberry toffee and the perfect autumn has my house filled with all the fall smells. These are not transitional scents at all. These are very much full on fall scents. And it is 90 freaking degrees today. I, I am sweating while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I don't have the air conditioning on because I the back door open for the dogs and it is hot in here. Um, I'm so ready for summer to be over. Um, but yeah, it, it smells like fall in here. I love it, but they're definitely not transitional scents. I do want to put out a like fall transition scent here. Fall transition scent recommendations video, I guess I should say here in a little bit. Um, because September is, guess what, unfortunately right around the corner. And um, yeah, I think I think fall starts September 21st. Is that is that the date? So yeah, I tend to go through a small like transition period where I incorporate a lot of different apple scents. So um, I thought it might be kind of fun to share those suggestions with you guys. Things that are currently available that might be great options to think about picking up. If you two are, you know, kind of trying to ease into the pumpkin, trying to ease into the cranberry, the heavier like patchouli scents, a lot of like these Halloween scents that came out. So anyway, that's to come. Um, and I think that's all that I'm burning right now. So let's get started with candles that I finished this week. Um, these are the last three Homeworks candles that I'm going to be able to get through this year in terms of my spring summer stash. I whittled it down a lot, a lot, and I will do an update video at the end of year in terms of what I have left in my different collections, so that is to come. But um, my goal was to finish, I think I, tr I said I was trying to finish like eight Homeworks <laughs> candles for spring and summer this month. I don't know that I reached that goal. Um, I think I was trying to get through a few more before September rolled around, but it's just, it's not going to happen. It's fine. Anyway, I did finish my blueberry cheesecake. Such a great scent. And this one I would actually consider burning as a transitional scent as well. Um, blueberry, I don't know. Now that I've tried the blueberry pumpkin patch, I'm like, well, I could probably do blueberry in September as well still. So I might still go through one more of these, but I love that scent and I purchased many. I got it when it was available in a set of two over at QVC. That's when I went ham. By the way, I'm not doing that anymore. I am no longer buying multiple sets of Homeworks candles from QVC that I'm interested in. I will buy one set and um, that's it. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not buying like eight, nine, ten sets of something that I love because it's, it's just too much. I can't, I cannot get through them fast enough. Um, also finished Berry Trifle. This was my very last Berry Trifle. I think it's still on the homeworks.shop website. Um, so yeah, I can probably get it again next year. And then I also finished the Farm Stand Blueberry in this packaging. By the way, this was not the lid that came with it. Um, this one I got, you know what? I actually ordered this last November 
and um, then it got lost in the Hallmarks warehouse. And I was refunded for it, which was fine. You know, bummer, I didn't get my candles because this was actually supposed to be a Christmas gift for my sister-in-law um, when I met them in Hawaii. But um, yeah, that, that particular package did end up eventually showing up at my house because I guess the warehouse just put it in a corner somewhere and then they did an inventory and they found a few people's boxes and still sent them, which I thought was generous, um, especially since they refunded us. Um, so yeah, I got this huge box just randomly delivered to my house in March and I was like, I did not place an order. Where is this coming from? It was all of those candles I ordered back in November. Yeah, they were found. <laughs> they still sent them. So anyway, this was a part of that. And um, yeah, it did fine. It wasn't like the strongest, but also it hasn't been sitting around like my other Farm Sand Blueberry candles have. So finish those we'll be putting those in my empties um other things i was burning this week so these two halloween candles from homeworks there's possessed plum and midnight moon i have them sitting back here because i was burning them before starting this video they needed to be blown out um i'm going to be reviewing these two these were sent as pr so i didn't purchase these um i'm kind of the wicks on these are weird they're i listen of all the problems that there are with the homeworks candles my biggest beef is the strength and throw right like i typically don't have these wick problems that a lot of people have i don't i don't know where the wick problems are coming from quite honestly obviously he's they're using subpar wicks right um but for me like i just don't ever really have issues with the wicks these however get massive mushroom tops very quickly and i need to watch these very carefully because they do tend to want to like lean into the wax none of them have broken off um they're, they're still very much attached they're working but they just like they get really deep wax pools very quickly and then massive mushroom tops and that leads to the you know the wick probably keeling over at some point if I don't watch them so I had to blow these out I wanted to bring them in here because I didn't want to forget to mention that so if you're purchasing those just be aware of that trim your wicks fairly short and don't burn them for like more than like two and a half hours admittedly these two I think were probably going closer to three hours when I saw them and I was like Ooh! um I blew them out right away after that um and uh sort of reposition the wicks from that leaning position back up and now the wax is hardening and then i'm going to trim those wicks heartily you will see in-depth reviews on those candles probably in the next week or two um burned a little bit of this this will i think this might actually be in that transitional scent video it's not an apple scent but i really like this one from homeworks it's their berry pumpkin waffles i'm glad this one came back it is so delicious great transitional scent um, I finally reviewed the pineapple cilantro. If you missed this review, I will link it down below. Listen, I don't love pineapple scents. I did not purchase this one. This one was sent as PR. If you like really pure, intense, very ripe pineapple scents, uh, she is for you. Um, now that I've reviewed it, there's still quite a bit of candle left in here. Um, I already trimmed the wicks for the next burn, by the way. Um, so uh i think i'm gonna gift this away to one of my girlfriends um i know she likes pineapple scents and i know she's gonna enjoy this one so i'm gonna give this to her i do that a lot with my friends where when i don't really care for something i just happily allow other people to get to enjoy it um so that one there is reserved for a girlfriend of mine um i have just never really liked pineapple in home fragrance i love to eat pineapple i love pina coladas don't get me wrong but the smell of them i don't know i just just doesn't appeal to me it's weird right like you love the taste of something but the smell of it is just like meh no thanks um also reviewed the fresh baked bread and i'm so glad so many of you agreed with the fact that they really kind of missed the mark on the label with this one maybe I just would love to see either like a really nice crusty sourdough loaf or like a French baguette because I think that that's what this smells like a lot more than what I'm seeing here. This looks like some type of like wheat bread or grain type bread that, you know, just came out of a bag. <laughs> 
and this smells better than bagged bread to me so um it is currently not available but it has i believe popped in and out of stock again um so there's that uh, i'm not giving this one away because turns out i actually i like this one so sorry friends you're not getting it it smells like bread it's crazy all right this this will definitely be a transitional uh, recommendation. I was burning this a couple times this week. This is the Rosemary Apple Rita, which has um, rosemary in it, but it is not, if you did not like the grapefruit rosemary or rosemary grapefruit that was released this past spring and summer in the Country Candle line, this is nothing like that. That rosemary in there was nuts. It was so much. It like overpowered the grapefruit. It just didn't smell good to me, but this is fabulous. This is mostly apple, but I do pick up the rosemary in here. It's just a little bit more pure in terms of like the apple notes, and I love that. So this one's really, really good. I've really been enjoying it. I'm definitely like, I'm at the halfway point. So I'll be finishing this one up before the middle of September for sure. I'm starting to burn some of the homeworks like holiday candles um, to begin testing those. I figured it would be safe to start with the ice sugar cookies. So I think I'm one burn in on this one this week. I have to admit it's quite light. I'm almost tempted to let this one sit a couple more months. I am one of the people that does tend to get a little bit more oomph out of the homeworks candles the longer I let them sit. Um, I don't want to wait until next year to review this. So I will review it at its current um, strength and throw rate and then um, maybe I'll put it away I don't know I, I did purchase one and then one was sent as PR so I'll probably save the other one that I have until next fall season but this iced cook sugar cookie scent isn't necessarily like a specific holiday scent for me like I could even burn this year round, and that's kind of why I started with this one it's kind of an easy safe bet it does smell amazing on cold sniff very creamy a nice cookie note um yeah so it's sugar cookie buttercream frosting sweet vanilla and brown sugar it's delicious but strength and throw kind of low for the first burn so we'll see where that goes all right this bad boy here oh man this is the palo santo pumpkin first of all i'm just about well am i almost to the halfway point almost listen this is a really beautiful scent but the performance has been a little bit lighter for me on this one. Um, so I don't know that I would repurchase this. Um, it's one where if you do really like this scent, maybe pick one up and set it aside. Um, but you shouldn't have to do that, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do that. But if you love this Palo Santo pumpkin and you're disappointed with the strength and throw, um, like I said, I've had luck with setting these aside and letting them cure a little bit longer. Um, but some people say that's not a thing. I don't know. To, to my nose, it's a thing. I can tell the difference in the strength and throw. So there's that. Do with that what you will. And um, let's see. Since we're, since we're on the topic of candles, I do want to show you guys what I picked up at Costco when I was there yesterday. First of all, they're, start, they're starting to put out the Christmas. And this was in their Christmas section. I have seen candles at Costco for years. Haven't really picked them up because one, a lot of the scents I've always been like, ugh, I don't know that I really love this fragrance. And when they have different sets, I will love maybe two of the scents and the other two I'm just meh about. But this particular set, they did have the samples out. I smelled and I loved every single fragrance. I cannot wait to review these for you guys because I think... Was this $20? I feel like this set was like $19.99. Where's my receipt? Probably in the recycling bin, but um, at any rate, I, they might even have these online. They're gonna cost more online, so if you have a Costco membership, go into your store. But So this is the set here, and this is from Bellevue Luxury Candles. Um, these candles are poured in the USA. Um, you get four 12 ounce soy blend candles. Um, and the fragrances in here, um, oh, they're lead free wicks, artisan fragrances with essential oils. Um, you get toasted vanilla, balsam cardamom, vetiver birchwood, and berry clementine. I just wanna take these out. I don't know that I'm gonna like burn and review these anytime 
super soon definitely at some point in september but probably not within the next like couple of weeks but let's go ahead and take them out i just want to do like some quick quick snips here and show you guys they're pretty right these containers kind of remind me of the dw home candles um they have a nice little metal lid they're two wick Ooh, that of our birch wood you know what I thought these would be good for? Like, if they're not great in terms of strength and throw, because I don't know what to expect from these, um, these might be nice bathroom candles. <laughs> I know. Uh, sometimes I get candles for certain areas of the house. Um, this one here is the balsam cardamom. Yes. Hot damn, this is good. This is really nice, you guys. I think the toasted vanilla is my favorite. Raw sugar, cream, and vanilla bean. Ugh. Yes. This smells edible. That smells so good. And then the last one is the berry clementine. Yes, really good. Delicious. Anyway, so we'll see how these go. Um, do you guys want a review for these just in one video because they came in a set or do you want individual reviews if i do like a grouping of reviews in one video it's just going to mean like it's just a lot longer video but it's not like you can buy these on your on their own anyway or maybe through bellevue themselves i don't know anything about this company apparently they are based out of hickory kentucky Where's Hickory, Kentucky? <laughs> sure, it's a lovely place. Anyway, um, so more on these. <sighs> Wax melts. All right, really quickly. Um, Tahitian Twilight. I've still been trying to finish up just a couple of my scentsy, like spring, summer scents, just to like get them out of the system. So excited about the new catalog. More on that here in a second. But Violet Sponge Sugar, uh, Tahitian Twilight. Um, here's another Violet Sponge Sugar, another Tahitian Twilight. <laughs> this Tahitian Twilight is lovely, although I will admit it's a little bit lighter than I would like it to be, but dang, that's a good scent. Oddly enough, there's some pineapple in here, <laughs> but it's not the most predominant note, so I really do like this one. That's yummy. Um, Berry Bright, which basically just smells like a candied berry scent. Oh, there's my kid. <laughs> um tinkerbell sweet and sassy i feel like i've had this one in my collection for a little while this one's very um like bright and cheery uh like lemony this one smells lemony to my nose i like it um and also a couple of mon Amour from kringle candles so these i had going upstairs in our smaller rooms this particular scent is a dupe for the baccarat rouge 540 and um so it it is a little bit lighter in terms of its like projection it really is very similar to the perfume i own the baccarat rouge 540 and a bunch of like dupes of it and it's not one of those typical like smack you in the face type fragrances um it's just not and i find the experience with the wax melt and the candles to be very similar to my experience with the perfume sometimes i wear perfumes that are not in your face a lot of times my perfumes are pretty potent i i tend to gravitate towards like amber and patchouli so like heavier types of fragrances um beautiful like deep vanilla scents as well um but yeah, that particular one, it's one of those like more skin type scents where someone has to come in a little bit closer. So if you want, what I'm trying to say here is if you want like crazy strength and throw out of a Kringle wax melt, that's not the one I'm going to send you to. Um, sweet Stuff. Sweet Stuff is a great performing wax melt for me from Kringle. It's fabulous. Also, I think I'm going to try to film this video for tomorrow. You guys, my bestie Lisa sent me my fall catalog for Scentsy. So I, I don't sell Scentsy. I buy everything from my best friend, Lisa Roberry. I'm sure most of you are very familiar with her. So she sends out catalogs at the start of every season. And she's so sweet about sending like samples. And she sends this stuff to ever. It's not just because we're best friends um, that I get this stuff. She sends this stuff to pretty much everybody that requests the catalog from her. And this time around, I got scratch and sniffs they're not stickers are they oh my god they are stickers whoa i just realized these are stickers do you guys remember scratch and sniff stickers oh 
It's a sticker. Make me snickerdoodle. Oh, that smells good. Anyway, I want to kind of do like a little sniff session with you guys. Um, I, this video sounds really fun to me, so I think I might try to film this for tomorrow. Um, but I want to go through the catalog and talk about what I'm most excited about ordering when everything launches. I can't wait. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know what you were burning and melting in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out. Ah, uh, once again, I've been talking too much and my camera is like, I can't take it anymore and just shuts off. Anyway, um, yeah, check the description box for all the information that I mentioned and really seriously have an amazing rest of your weekend. Let me know what you're burning and melting and um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!